Hi everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and thanks for tuning in to the third video in my 2013 video series on using Gmail. The first video in the series served as an introduction and an overview of the user interface of Gmail. In the second video I talked about composing, sending, and receiving emails and in this video I'm going to talk about organizing your emails once you've received them. This is going to be about a five or six part series in which I show you all the different features of using Gmail here in 2013. So stay tuned for the additional videos that will be coming up later on this month and into next month. I really hope it helps and enjoy. There are many features available to use when it comes to organizing your emails in Gmail. Earlier in this video series, I talked about the starred feature in Gmail and the important feature, and how we can quickly mark emails by clicking on the star or the important tag, and then we can go ahead and find just those emails that have been starred or marked as important by clicking on the appropriate link over here on the left. In this video, however, I'd like to get a little bit more detailed, and we're actually going to talk about labels in Gmail. And what labels are is they're basically folders However, they work a little bit differently than folders, and I'm going to explain um, why that is and why that's important to you as we move through this video. So the first thing that needs to happen, however, is when you receive an email and you read it, you then need to make a decision. You need to decide, does this email need to be deleted or does it need to be kept for later? And if it does need to be kept for later, how are you going to organize that so that you can easily find it? So let's go ahead and let's take a look. I have this email here that's called new employee and as you can see it's unread because it's bold and it's just an email somebody saying that there's a new employee starting on Monday. Now I could delete this email and if I did want to delete this email I could go ahead and just hit the trash can and it's going to send it to the trash. Remember emails in the spam and trash are automatically de deleted after 30 days. I could also just leave this email in my inbox and then they're all going to pile up and I'm never going to be able to find anything in my inbox and uh, I'm just going to be more stressed out in general because when you have a lot of emails in your inbox even if you don't need to use all of those emails it just looks like a lot and that's going to stress you out and it's going to be harder to find things when using Gmail. So I want to do something with this email. I want to give it a label. If I ever need a record of when somebody notified me of that whether or not I had enough time to, to prepare um, I can have it here in Gmail if I save this email but I don't want it in my inbox. So I could just hit this archive button and what archive does is it takes an email and it takes it out of my inbox, yet it keeps it in my Gmail account. So let's take a look. If I open this email and I hit archive, you'll notice that it's no longer in my inbox. And when I log into Gmail every day, I'm not going to see that message. If I do want to see it, however, I can always go to this all mail folder. Every single email in your Gmail account will be in this all mail folder unless it is deleted. If it's not in all mail, it doesn't exist. So effectively, every single email in my inbox is also in the all mail folder and every single email that's not in my inbox, in this case it's only this one that I just archived, is also in the all mail folder. So really what happens is when we archive an email, you'll notice that uh, when I look in my all mail folder, the emails that are in my inbox have this little tag next to it and that's actually a label. That actually works the same way that our custom labels are going to work later on in this video. So when I hit that archive button, it looks like this. Essentially all that's happening is that inbox label is being removed. So that email is no longer showing up when I look in my inbox. So that's a great way to just kind of file away things real quick uh, if you need them later on. And remember you can always use search. This search feature in Gmail is super super effective. So if I wanted to find that new employee email I could just type in, I type in new and you'll see it already is guessing I might be typing new employee because it knows I have an email with that subject in my Gmail account. So if I click on that or if I just hit search, you'll see there is my new employee email. Okay, so that's cool, but uh, I might need to organize things a little more in my Gmail account so that I don't have to search or sift through this all mail folder. You're not going to want to sift through that all mail folder. It's going to get a lot of emails in it. So we can add an, a label to this email. And the way that we can do that is we can either hit the checkbox or open it up. It doesn't matter because you'll notice when you have an email open 
or when you have the checkbox checked, you have this toolbar up here uh, with a bunch of different options. If I don't have an email open or I don't have the checkbox checked, I don't have that toolbar. And we need that toolbar to organize our emails. So like I said, you can either open it up or hit the checkbox. So I'm just going to hit the checkbox. Here's my new employee email. You'll notice I have an option to move it to the inbox if I want to, if I want to bring it back to the inbox. I could do that. But if I want to label it something else, I'm going to click on this labels drop down. And you'll see right now there's nothing listed here because I haven't created any labels. So I'm going to quickly hit create new label. And I'm just going to call this human resources because it's about an employee being hired. You'll notice that I can also do sub labels so I could have a sales department and then I could have multiple sales teams listed beneath my sales department label. Uh, that gets pretty advanced and you probably won't need to use that when you're first getting started here in Gmail. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit create on my human resources label. And you'll notice that right away, this email now has a human resources tag on it. And if I look over here to the left, underneath my circles section, I have a label called human resources. And if I click on that, it's going to show me all the emails that have the human resources label. Just like when I click on the inbox, it shows me all the emails that have the inbox label. Now, here is how labels are different than folders. One email in Gmail can have multiple labels. So I could go to human resources, I could select this email, and I could say I want to give it a new label. I'm going to call this 2013. So now you'll see that uh, because I'm in human resources, we don't see the human resources tag because it, it assumes we know that it already has that. But if I go to my all mail folder and I look at this email, you'll see that it has both the human resources and the 2013 tag. And if I click on either one of these labels over here on the left, I will see that email. Now here's the catch. If this were folders, I would have to have two separate emails. I could not have one email in two places at once. That's impossible. It violates the laws of time and physics and space and, and all that. Quantum physics, we can't do it. But by using labels, I can have this email appear that it's in two places at once. It's really not. It's one email and it's in my all mail folder. It's the only folder in Gmail other than the spam and trash. However, it has two tags on it. So the catch is if I go ahead and I hit this, if I'm in 2013, see I'm over here in 2013, I have this email selected. If I hit trash, is it going to be in human resources? Absolutely not, because it's the same email. It's only one email. It had two tags on it. So I trashed that email from everywhere. So definitely be careful of that. That's a common mistake that a lot of new users to Gmail make. So I'm going to go to my trash. If I delete an email that I didn't mean to, and I can go ahead. I can hit the check mark next to the email, and I'm going to go up here to, um, sorry, not more. I'm going to go to the folder drop down, and I'm going to say move to inbox. And you'll see it takes it out of my trash. And here it is back in my inbox with my two labels on it. Now, you can create as many labels as you want. And in fact, I recommend creating as many as you deem necessary. But I do want to show you a way that you can customize your labels to make them a little bit more easy to sift through. If you go over here to the left where your labels are listed, you'll notice that when I mouse over one of them, a drop down appears to the right. And if I click on that, I have a lot of options on how I can customize my labels. So I can go ahead and I can add different colors to this label, which I will. I'll make that one red. You'll see now it's red. And if I look at this list one more time, I could also have hidden this label. If I want to rename it, I can hit the edit button. I could add a sub label as I spoke of before. So you've got a number of different options, but I would definitely recommend coloring these labels. You'll notice if I color one red and one blue, there is a big difference. And when you have a lot of emails listed in either your inbox or your all mail folder, and they have labels set up, you can easily differentiate between those different emails. So this is really how you can get started with labeling your emails in Gmail. I also want to mention that you can drag and drop. So here I am in my inbox. If I want to take this, this is a test email, and move it to one of these labels, I don't have to click on it and go up here to labels and select my label, although I could. I could also mouse over it just to the left of the checkbox where my mouse turns into that hand symbol, and then I can click and I can drag that into human resources. Now I'm going to warn you, this is a little bit different than just labeling an email, because we're basically doing two things at once here. We're going to label this email human resources while at the same time taking it out of our inbox and archiving it. So watch, you'll notice it will disappear here from my inbox when I drop it. There it is. It's no longer in my inbox, but if I click on human resources, here is my email. So remember, when you drag and drop, you are going to actually 
you're not moving that email because there's only one folder, but it appears as though you're moving it because that inbox label is being removed and a different label is being added. So remember that when organizing your emails. I wanted to kind of get into filters in this video, but I think I'm, I'm getting a little long in terms of time. So I'm actually going to create a whole nother video in this series for automatically filtering and labeling your emails. That means you can make it so when you receive emails from certain people, they are automatically added a label. So you don't have to do the manual work every single time. So I'm going to add that as its own video here in this 2013 video series for using Gmail. So if you found this helpful, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. If you didn't see the first two videos in the series yet, go ahead and check them out and stay tuned for more videos here in my 2013 Gmail video series. And if you wanna see more technology tips and tutorials, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I have for you today. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.